team will be honored at the end of tonight's game for going beyond the call. GTE Hawaiian Tell will make a contribution for scholarships to the University of Hawaii. Rainbows right now with their biggest lead of the ball game up 70 to 63. Indiana will inbound it with 4.52 left in the ball game. And, and Coach uh, Bobby Knight called a timeout as you look at Anthony Carter with 20 points, six assists. Because Bobby Knight called a timeout, you can rest assured that they've tried to set up some offensive play to get them a bucket coming out of this timeout. Luke Recker, Deron Turner. Turner finds Guyton around AC. He's in trouble down low. But he finds Collier who bails him out. Five point ball game, four and a half minutes left. That's 11 to Jason Collier. good quiet, giving the Rainbows a chance to run their offense. They've taken 20 seconds off the shot clock. And the crowd has gotten smart in Hawaii. See, they don't make noise when the Rainbows are on offense. They make it when they're on defense. Good job. Shot clock down to 13. Easy E against Patterson. Too strong. Galloway up and in. Acrobatic move. And the officials allowed Patterson to stay in the ball game because that very well could have been his fifth foul. Tremendous opening night performance in a rainbow uniform for the helicopter, Aaron Galloway. Ten points. A prime time player. Seven point rainbow lead. 3.40 to go. Patterson outside. Short. Galloway, another rebound. And Galloway is smart. He will put it in the hands of the maestro, Anthony Carter, handling the basketball, making it happen for the rainbows. Now, we've not talked about this. Thus far, there's a 40-second shot clock, not 35 like last year. The Rangers can benefit. And hold on to the hold ball, more. That's right, hold the ball a little bit, take a little air out of it, but you don't want to stop playing. You still want to execute, get something out of your offensive set, get a good look, get a good shot. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Carter baseline, high arcing shot. It comes up just short. The back Indiana, rainbow ball. Galloway keeps it alive. And remember, I spoke about three minutes to go. Mike Robinson should come back. Coach Riley Wallace and I are staying paid. Here comes Robinson, 3.01 to go. Galloway is going out. Galloway has had a tremendous ball game for Hawaii. And the fans let him know how much they appreciate the effort. A new 40 on the clock. Here's Alika. Uses the basket to shield himself from the defender. Up and in. Reverse. Alika Smith. Now you got to play against the threes. You have to defend the threes. Don't give up three-point shots. Nine-point rainbow lead. 19 points for Alika Smith. 20 for A.C. Carter. Shot no good. Smith rebound. And he covers up. And he takes your time. Make him play defense. And now, Artie, now this crowd can taste it. Two minutes and 20 seconds to go. Cartwright working on Reeker. Bingo! Oh, yeah. A 12-point Hawaii lead, and Alika Smith showing some emotion. Ambrosia turnover. Two minutes. Two minutes between Hawaii and victory in the season opener. And like the big fella always says, how sweet it is. This one's for the big fella. Yes, it is. AC to AZ. Oh, yes. 14 for Ambrosius. Another assist for AC and a 14-point rainbow lead. And Alika goes baseline a moment ago, underneath the basket, says, hey, I've got a little left-handed English, and then he's pumping it up. Great job by Alika Smith. Anthony Carter, Alika Smith, that guard tandem is one of the best in the nation. I don't care what anyone else will say. They are top two or three or four guard tandems in the nation. They talk about Arizona, they talk about Duke. How about these rainbows? Give me these two guys, I'll go out to battle with both of these guys all the time. And now this is the Rainbows game to, to win right here. They have it. They must control it. 
One minute, 40 seconds to go in the ball game, up by 14. The key is now not to commit fouls. You want the clock to continue to run, and you've got to take care of the basketball. Look for a pressure defense by Indiana. 136 and counting in Indiana. Throws it out of bounds. Another costly turnover. And remember, we talked about limiting turnovers for the 7-Eleven key. We'll be back right after this. Sweet it is. How sweet it is. Bobby Knight apparently has seen enough. He's thrown in the towel going with Luke Jimenez, a walk-on. Hasn't scored yet this year. Also into the game for Indiana, Robbie Eggers. There he is, number 32, a 6'10", 245-pound senior. He has yet to score this year, so the primetime players on the pine. As Bobby Knight has seen enough, he appears headed for the consolation game on Sunday. Well, the most important thing for Hawaii, now take care of the basketball. Realize you'll probably get fouled and go to the line, knock down free throws. Run your offense. Rainbow's 1-4 right now. Just going to take a little time off the clock. And what a bold stance by Riley to say in the season opener, I want Indiana. You're absolutely correct. Well, Riley knew what he had coming back. When you've got a team like, like he has coming back, you want to go against the best. It will only help you when it comes tournament time. 17 seconds on the shot clock. AC, 50 ball handling move, down to 13 on the shot clock. Hawaii's going to milk it. We're approaching a minute left in the ball game. Rainbows by 14 points. AC from downtown, and he banks it home when it rains. It pours. And AC called it. He said, bank, bank. We're under a minute. Gladness in the air picks up a foul, but that will not dampen the spirit of this crowd and of this team. Hawaii headed for a big victory on opening night. Casey Cartwright picking up the foul. And you know, Casey Cartwright, we talked about Aaron Galloway having a big ball game. Casey Cartwright, although he's not done much offensively, he's done the job for the Rainbows on the defensive end lately, and he's been another ball handler on the floor. That one rolls around and bounces out. Eggers with the rebound, and now Eggers to the line. So credit Indiana, they, they are continuing to play. They have not gone soft inside. They're banging hard. Cartwright picks up another foul. Good second. Won't matter as that man. Boy, has he got these guys headed in the right direction. They're there. There's no more direction. They've arrived. The shot by Eggers, no good. The Rainbows can hold the ball. Just want to run through things and let the fans give them a standing ovation. How sweet it is. This is beautiful. Three-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. We're down to 25 in the game. 20 on the shot clock. Ambrosic on Collier. Bounce pass. Baseline. Hartwright misses the shot. The Rainbows get the rebound, and they can just hold on to the ball. And, well, actually, they can't. They have not reset the shot clock. AC is going to take a shot clock violation with 2.7 seconds left. It's academic. Rainbows up, 82-65. Yeah, and AC thought the clock had been re reset. It did not hit the rim. That's a turnover. Anthony Carter did want points to his head. said, wow, I should have known that. But you know what? It won't matter. It doesn't matter because the Rainbows have defeated one of the best basketball programs in the nation. What a victory for Coach Wallace. What a victory for this young team in their opening game. Something special at the special events arena. Hawaii defeats 21st-ranked Indiana. 82-65, and the Rainbows will head to the championship game of the United Airlines tip-off tournament. Congratulations, Riley.